Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to put all the puzzle pieces together so that you get to see the whole picture on how to succeed as an artist. As we all know, there isn't a shortage of puzzle pieces, such as things that we need or think we need to do, such as Instagram, uh, Facebook, blogs, videos, YouTube, newsletters, marketing, shows to enter, the list is endless. Each one of them though is telling us that what they offer is the one that works. And if you do this, you'll get exactly what you want in your art. But it isn't until you see the whole picture of knowing what you really need to do. And as artists, we're visual and we work better if we can visually see the entire picture. Now, when you have your personal roadmap, you will be able to know what works for you and you'll be able to spend less time and accomplish more. Plus, I'll show you how having a roadmap will give you the results that you need because you know how to connect the dots. Without this, you will remain lost because you have a bunch of puzzle pieces that just don't fit. Now, you look around and the internet is fantastic. The possibilities are endless, but guess what? That's the problem. There's so much that you could do that no matter how much work you do, it's never enough. And if you stick with me in this final video, I'm going to give you a clear but simple path for your entire business. And you'll be able to focus on what matters and not the bright, shiny objects. I want to give you an example. Gil Morgan, who's from Canada, came to one of my workshops in Taos. Now, Gil's work had a twist. It was different. It was off-centered with a little bit of whimsy. Her confidence was way down because she viewed her work as more crafty. And when I saw her work, I saw excitement, a unique voice, and one people would want to have in their homes. And Gil and I worked together for a year, and during this time, I convinced her to have a one-woman show. Now, she was very reluctant, but I got this note from her, and the note said, I had a solo show in Toronto. I had 40 works on the wall and two portfolios of works on paper. She sold 30 of the 40 pieces on the wall and a dozen works on paper. She said, thanks for helping me come back home. So, are you ready? If you are just joining me, just let me just kind of bring you up to speed. My name is Gwen Fox, and I have taken my passion for creativity to a six-figure income to teaching others how to do the same. Now, I am known by many as the bridge between art and spirituality, and the coach that will take you from where you are to where you wanna be. I now show artists how they can step into the spotlight and show their expertise with my step-by-step -step plan on how to succeed as an artist. Now, I do things a little bit different. And when I work with artists, I realize that each artist is different. Now, they all may want to get in, into galleries and sell their work, but their personalities are different. Therefore, each roadmap will be different, and each individual roadmap will get you to where you want to be. Which is why, in the first video, I introduced you to the importance of having your own personal artistic roadmap so that you know exactly where to get to where you want to go. Now, we also talked about artists really needing to know how to talk about their work, plus how to talk about themselves as artists in order to entice the viewer into their work without seeming to brag, but have it with integrity and authenticity. Plus, we talked about the three eyes, the eyes that make your talk interesting, intriguing, and informative, and having these together in your talk, well, people remember both you and your art. Then in video number two, we talked about the bridge analogy. This visual analogy showed you how you can get from where you are to Dream Island. And we talked about the importance of developing your artistic voice and style so that you could get into jury shows, top galleries, and sell your work. We talked about working on your strengths instead of your weaknesses because it's your strengths that make you unique. And one of the things that give you your artistic voice is knowing your strengths. Artists, unfortunately, work on their weaknesses, which doesn't do them any good. 
Today, I'm going to give you the big picture. You don't know what you can't see, and if you can't see it, you will miss something crucial. So now that we're all caught up, let's go to work and put your roadmap together for you. So what are the foundation pieces for your roadmap? Now, let's use the analogy of putting a puzzle together. You know, you put all of these pieces out, how are you gonna put it together? Well, what you do first is find your corner pieces. And so that's what we're going to do. We're gonna do the same with your, with your art. So, these are gonna be your corner pieces. So what is your first corner piece? It's your voice, your artistic voice. Your second piece is your art. Your third would be your roadmap. You've got to have your roadmap. And the fourth corner piece that's so important is your artistic mindset. All right, but in order to get these, you need to have all of these together. In order to get this, I really mean, in order to get the corners, you've got to have something else. And that something else are your elements and principles of design. Then you need your strengths. You have to have your strengths down. Like we talked about. Then on this side, we're gonna say, another thing is to be able to talk about your work. And not only talk about your work, you're gonna to need to be able to talk about uh, yourself as an artist. Then on the last one, do you know what that one is? That one's going to be a big one because without this, nothing else works is going to be action. So you can have all of these in place and if you don't have this. So now, but first, your artistic voice. How do you find it? Where does it live? How do you decide which voice is yours? As I bet, if you're like me, you have many artistic interests. So it's your voice that gets you into galleries and gives you collectors. This is what we will go over in great detail in the masterclass. Now, when you find your voice, you then know that your paintings reflect the you within you. And this is when collectors start noticing you and then they start following your artistic journey. Now, in order to do all of this, you need a roadmap and one that is designed just for you and is the roadmap that will guide you to your path to artistic success and not allow you to go to all of those bright, shiny objects. And then there is your mindset. It is one of the most important things in your artistic toolbox of success. Your mindset will make the difference in whether you succeed or stay a hobby artist. Now, if your intent is to be a hobby artist or a recreational artist, then that's perfectly fine. However, if you want to go further, it is your mindset that will make the difference. Now, speaking of mindset, let's just kind of go into it a bit so that you understand the urgency of this corner piece. At a recent conference of one of the uh, of top executives, one of the speakers said, mindset is the single most important thing that you have as an entrepreneur. Work on it daily. Now, I would reword this to say, mindset is the single most important thing that you have as an artist. Work on it daily. Now, if you are thinking, I'm not an entrepreneur, then I beg you to think different. You are an entrepreneur because you are the CEO of your business. Mindset is and should be on the top of your list of things to always work on. You know, Kate Mitchell came to uh, coaching and the masterclass with a different expectation. Yes, she wanted to improve her art. She wanted to get into galleries and find herself as an artist. But Kate already had a strong body of work. 
but something was holding her back and she wanted to get through this barrier. Kate was brave enough to state her feelings and it opened up a whole new world for her. And Kate said, and I quote, I have learned that painting requires being present with myself and this has allowed me to stop questioning whether I create paintings that are good enough. Now you can improve your technique and it will give you good paintings, but it will not give you consistent quality paintings filled with emotion. If you take one thing from this video series, make sure it's mindset, because mindset is the single most important thing to work on as an artist. It is mindset that we cover in the masterclass. So what does mindset do for an artist? And if you don't have it or work on it, what happens? Well, without mindset, you will flounder and always question yourself to whether or not you're a really good artist. Now just notice when you are in the studio and your painting isn't going as it should, do you start doubting yourself? Do you question if you're really an artist at all? But with the right mindset in place, you will know that it's a phase and not the end of your art career. Mindset sets you apart from other artists. Other artists will notice when you have the mindset with confidence. For example, Pat Chapman from Texas had been to several of my workshops in Taos and she decided to be coached for a year. Now Pat had greatness within her, but she didn't believe in herself. And the creative images within her were powerful, but she was not sure about sharing them with the world. And as her confidence grew though, in both herself and her work, she blossomed. So Pat said, when I was working with you, I was stuck. Now I wasn't confident. Inner critic having its heyday, and now when I get stuck, I don't wanna burn down my studio. I consider where I need to go, what's the next what if, and what's the better way to tackle the canvas. I now am tackling a 48 by 60 commission going to a client in Houston for their second home. My fear is gone, my inner critic isn't gone, but we have conversations and I tend to win the arguments. I love that. I hope you realize by now that it is the roadmap that separates the winners from those who are constantly struggling. And I know that even with the right plan, the right steps, the real challenge can be believing in yourself. Listen, we all struggle. Thinking that what we have is an original, that your paintings aren't good enough. Who am I to be doing this? Well, I'm gonna ask you, who are you not to be doing this? You are here for a reason and so am I. My reason is to illuminate your path to success. With almost five million artists showing their work, how are you going to stand out? You might be thinking that there isn't room for you. It's been done before, but here I am to tell you there's so much room for you. Artists are chasing the bright, shiny object syndrome all the time and they're not getting any business done. It is your voice that's different because it's your history and your, your vision and your outlook, it's all different. Your voice deserves to be heard. You have something valuable to share. And if you don't 100% believe that, then borrow my faith in you. I have pushed through so many things in my journey that I think maybe it's easier to just let you hear it from the artists that I've, that I've helped. This is my second workshop with Gwen. Uh, my husband and I were married 10 years ago and I saw her in a gallery and I was wowed. Um, I followed her on the internet and uh, I've taught art for years and finally decided I would come for a class last year and she has helped me to say the big yes to my dreams. I'm no longer teaching. I've built a studio in a new home and um, the sky's the limit. Uh, she has helped me to have courage that I didn't ever experience with any other teacher. And um, she's willing to um, answer my crazy, silly questions and um, just gives me the willingness to just keep going, keep, keep taking the next step. Before I took the master class, I would spend a lot of time um, 
looking at other artists for my inspiration or my design, which all that is good. But what's special about taking the master class is you find out who you are supposed to be as an artist. And that was, was huge. Um, I would also say that in the master class, some of the things that, that I learned the most were how to create strong design um, and color. You can see my color charts behind me. Um, I really dove into color and getting a better grasp at how to put that on there. And Gwen, Gwen gives you that. She isn't trying to make artists be Gwen. She's trying to make you help you become the best you as an artist because that's what the world needs is you being the artist you're supposed to be when you're out there. So I highly recommend the class. Um, my art today is much more me. It is, it has the depth that I want it to have. It has, um, it has grown. Um, I have more people uh, purchasing my art. Um, after taking the 12 week course, they see it. They see it when you become more like you. So all that to say, if you have the opportunity to take the class, even though it's risky um, and feels out of, I felt it, it was out of my league. And that was a good thing. I was with other artists who, who, who've been there longer than I have and and that was great. It, it's how you become an even better artist. So even though it's scary, just jump in, do it. You won't regret it. Um, Gwen's the best at encouraging you and helping you find your voice. So uh, have fun and enjoy every minute. And I know you will have no regrets. Until then, like Gwen says, create brilliantly and because the world needs more artists like you. The masterclass walks you through a proven process so that you don't have to guess or worry. It's bold, it's doable, and even better, it's fun and deep down satisfying for the soul. I absolutely love what I do. And what has become so meaningful for me is helping other artists succeed by following the simple yet powerful process. Now it's your turn. I will be opening the doors for the masterclass in a few days, and I hope you'll join me in gaining clarity and confidence in what you need to become an artist that you've always dreamed of becoming. Now I know that you want to make an impact in the world, and whatever is standing between you and what you want, well, we'll cross that bridge together. I hope you'll join me to gain clarity on how the masterclass is going to help you. And I aim to give you action steps that you can take and use on your own or use them with me. I had so much fun putting this video series together. And by the way, the video series that you just watched is the results of a roadmap, which allowed me to not sweat the details because details wear us out and take away all the fun. Now, I encourage you to put your dreams out there front and center. And I know if you put this off, guess what? Nothing's gonna change. But if you had a roadmap, think of what your future would look like. Think about what you want and know that this is the way to reach your dream island. I hope to see you Friday at the webinar. Thank you so much.